Two of my favorite fitness treadmills currently are the Peloton Tread and the Nordic Track 2450. There are a lot of similarities between these two treadmills in terms of how they look and even their cost. The Peloton Tread with the current price of $2,345 with a mandatory $350 delivery and assembly fee and the Nordic Track 2450 with the current price of $2,499 with free delivery in an optional $300 assembly fee. But while both treadmills may have a similar look and a similar price, there are significant differences between the two. And so today I'm going to go over exactly what those differences are. Out of the 18 differences I'm going to cover, nine are things that the Nordic Track 2450 does better, and nine are things that the Peloton Tread does better. And before we begin, a big thank you to Ice Barrel for sponsoring this video. You can learn more about them in a little bit. So one of the biggest differences that you'll notice is that the Nordic Track 2450 is foldable, whereas the Peloton Tread is not. When folded, the Nordic Track treadmill cuts its footprint by almost two thirds, which can definitely be beneficial for those with more limited space at home for workout equipment. The Easy Lift Assist here works well to make folding the treadmill very easy and very safe since the treadmill comes down slow and controlled. Now, although the Peloton Tread isn't able to fold, it does use higher quality materials, both in the casing surrounding it, as well as the trays and handrails. While Nordic Track tends to rely a lot on plastic shelling, Peloton opts for a higher quality soft touch coating, carbon steel, and polycarbonate with rubber lining for its bottle holders. Now comparing the two touch screens, the Nordic Track 2450 is able to pivot with a full 360 degrees of functional rotation, which makes it easier to use the screen for workouts off of the treadmill, such as strength, yoga, or even boot camp classes. And while the Peloton touchscreen may not be able to rotate, it is slightly bigger. The screen here is 24 inches compared to Nordic Track's 22 inches. Now looking underneath the screen, you'll notice that the Nordic Track 2450 has an included fan. This fan has four settings, low, medium, high, and an auto setting, which will adjust based on your current speed. Looking further below, and you'll see a safety key included by both treadmills, which if you clip on yourself, will stop the treadmill in case you'll ever fall off. And when you are done, if you remove the safety key, you can ensure that the treadmill isn't accidentally turned on and possibly injure a kid or an animal. But Peloton offers additional protection via their tread lock, which is a passcode that you enter whenever you want to use the treadmill. And this is something that can be nice to have because sometimes you just forget to remove that key and it's, it's nice to know that the passcode will still prevent those who shouldn't be using the treadmill from doing so. Now, while both treadmills can be adjusted manually, Nordic Tracks treadmills, including the 2450, can be automatically controlled via their smart adjust and active pulse features. While both features will automatically adjust the incline and decline based on the environment you are seeing on this screen, Smart Adjust changes your speed based on your incline, your current fitness level, and the current intent of the workout. Active Pulse works in a similar way, but adjusts your speed based on your heart rate to keep you in the correct heart rate zone for workouts that are centered around that. Now, Peloton may not have any auto adjust features, but their adjustment knobs are the best design that I've ever seen when it comes to manual adjustment. Instead of having to rely on buttons like Nordic Track and many others use, Peloton lets you simply turn the knob to adjust both your speed and your incline, which feels a lot more natural and easier to do while running. And these knobs also have a button in the center, which allow you to more quickly adjust your miles per hour or incline upwards. But when it comes to incline adjustments, the Nordic Track 2450 has a wider range of incline and is able to adjust that incline more quickly. Peloton has an incline range from 0% to 12.5%, whereas Nordic Track can go all the way down to negative 3% and all the way up to 15%. And Peloton takes about 21 seconds to go through its full range of incline, whereas Nordic Track only takes 15 seconds to go from its full range of negative 3 to 15%. 
Now, whether you are leaning more towards the Peloton Tread or the Nordic Track 2450, remember we are only halfway done through their differences. And no matter which you prefer, or if you prefer to run outside, today's sponsor, Ice Barrel, is an amazing tool for any athlete or anybody who wants to maximize their recovery and general health. Ice Barrel is a cold therapy training tool that offers an easy way to bring ice baths into your daily routine. Its lightweight design is portable, durable, and fits most body types, allowing you to get completely submerged. You may have heard about how cold plunges can improve your recovery and performance, help alleviate depression and anxiety, reduce pain and inflammation, improve mood and brain function, help with weight loss via better glucose sensitivity, and improve the quality of your sleep. But no matter how beneficial something is, it's only beneficial if you actually do it and you make it a routine. And getting into an ice bath every day is not an easy routine to make. Unless, of course, you have a tool like Ice Barrel, which is completely dedicated to it and makes it more simple, fun, and easy to do. No setup, no cleanup, just fill with water, add ice, and get in. You can learn more about the benefits of Ice Baths and Ice Barrel with links I've placed in the description below. Okay, so moving on, the next difference between the Peloton Tread and the North Track 2450 is that the Peloton has a much better overall UI and leaderboard. Not only is browsing through classes on Peloton much easier, but the metrics on the screen are also laid out in a much more user-friendly way compared to iFit, which is the connected fitness platform Nordic Track runs on. On top of a better UI, Peloton also has a much more interactive leaderboard, which allows you to see who is currently in the class with you, how they are doing, and you can even give them a friendly high five. Nordic Track does have a leaderboard, but you can't really tell who's actually in the class with you, and there's no way to interact with them. But while the UI may be worse, the Nordic Track 2450 definitely comes out ahead when it comes to the running belt. While both the Peloton and Nordic Track treadmills have a belt that is around five feet in length, the belt on the Nordic Track is both wider and more comfortable. At 22 inches in width compared to Peloton's 20, you have a bit more wiggle room when it comes to your feet placement. And when running on the belt, there is a noticeably enhanced shock absorption system on the Nordic Track treadmill which can make running a lot more comfortable. The music selection though on Peloton is probably the best of any connected fitness platform, with each class having a well thought out music playlist and even specific artist themed workouts as well. If good music is a big deal for you, then Peloton can definitely offer a better overall experience. Nordic Track, which uses iFit, has 11 radio stations you can choose from, but the music isn't really as good and definitely not not as specifically curated as with Peloton. Now where Nordic Track and iFit really shine the most is with their running programs. They have a ton of well-designed programs to help prepare you for anything from your first 5K to improving your 10K time. They even have fully complete programs designed to help build you up to a half and full marathon. The programs are comprehensive and can span in some cases up to 12 weeks with three to six sessions per week, depending on the goal. Now Peloton does offer a few running programs, but even the few that are there are not nearly as thought out or complete. But what Peloton does have are live classes. In fact, the majority of Peloton's classes are first done live and then very quickly made available on demand. And a lot of people really enjoy the live classes because with the active leaderboard, you can feel more motivated knowing that you are running alongside hundreds of other people taking the same exact class. Nordic Track used to offer live classes, but they were recently cut from the schedule entirely. And while Nordic Track and iFit may not have live classes, they do have live racing events. Usually there are several live races or events per month, usually on the weekend, and these can range from 5Ks all the way up to marathons. In fact, iFit has several marathon races that you can run on demand, either broken up or if you want to, all in one go, including the Boston Marathon. Now, a big highlight for the Peloton Tread has to be their boot camp classes. These are workouts that will take you on and off, back and forth between running on the tread and various strength and core work off of it. These are a really fun way to mix up your workouts with both running and strength work and are some of the best classes that are offered for the Peloton Tread. 
Nordic Track has a few of these bootcamp classes, but as of now, there's not really many to choose from. Now, the final difference that is great about Nordic Track is that there is a lot more price options to choose from when compared to Peloton. Peloton has one treadmill and one membership that can be used on that treadmill. Nordic Track, on the other hand, has almost a dozen treadmills to choose from at varying prices, which all follow the same content so that you can find something that is most in line with your budget. And while the iFit $39 monthly membership is similar to Peloton's $44 monthly cost, iFit does tend to offer discounts for those who would like to pay the year in full. And they even offer individual memberships at just $15 per month for those who aren't sharing their treadmill with others. And the final difference that Peloton has done well with is their class stacking feature, which allows you to build workout stacks combining running workouts with warm ups or cool downs or mobility or any combination. And not only is stacking nice to be able to create a full session, but it's the fact that Peloton has a large number of warm up and cool down and running mobility classes that you can add on afterwards. Whereas Nordic Track and iFit really don't have this, at least not noticeably so. And so now that you know the 18 biggest differences between the Peloton Tread and the Nordic Track 2450, let me know in comments which you prefer. And if you want to learn more about today's sponsor, Ice Barrel, make sure to check out that review here. Now, this is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.